Hey everyone, Luke here. Thanks for joining me for this video. We're on lots of Zoom calls today, whether it's with clients, other musicians, or just a personal call. Maybe you've thought it would be great to share what's in Pro Tools over the Zoom call, but you just weren't sure how to do that or where to look, or maybe you've tried a few things and it didn't quite work out. Well, today we're going to take a look at that and solve that problem. And we're even going to see how to stream music through Zoom in stereo quality. Let's dive in. All right, if you don't already have VoiceMeter Banana open, go ahead and open it up. We're going to take a quick look at some of the settings. All right, on the left, we have Hardware Input 1, which I renamed Mike. Hardware Input 2. Hardware Input 3. Then we have the VoiceMeter VAIO routing section. And then we have the VoiceMeter AUX routing section. And then we have the A1, 2, and 3, which are hardware outs. On this video, we're going to be focusing mostly on the VoiceMeter AUX, but we'll also talk about the VoiceMeter VAIO. And these are two sections that are uh, related directly to routing. Next, we're going to take a look at the virtual routing channels. So in VoiceMeter Banana, it offers more flexibility than standard because it has another routing channel and driver that gets installed when you install VoiceMeter. The two virtual routing channels are VoiceMeter VAIO and the VoiceMeter AUX. Now the VoiceMeter VAIO is directly related to the B1 virtual channel. And as you see here, you'll see the meter jumping because the B1 channel goes to OBS. Now in the VoiceMeter AUX channel, that's directly related to B2 virtual channel. And that is what goes to Zoom. And you can click on this green area and relabel it to Zoom. Same thing with the B1 channel to OBS. And then above each of the channel routing sections, you can see how I've renamed it to PC Sound and Zoom Caller. You may be wondering, well, how does that really work behind the scenes in Windows? Well, let's take a look in the VoiceMeter Banana Manual. The manual has a really great visual description and concept to understand the routing a little bit better. When you install VoiceMeter Banana, it installs a couple different drivers. And they get installed in Windows in the sound section and they look like this. And for the playback and then for the recording, they look like this down here. Just to review real quick, the voice meter input routes to the voice meter VAIO, which then routes through the voice meter output, which goes to the B1 virtual channel. Then the voice meter aux input routes through the voice meter aux section and it goes through the voice meter aux output, which routes to the B2 channel. And it's just a good idea to remember how that works. So when you're routing, you can avoid some confusion on where you're sending things. A couple of key things to note that if you are not recording into OBS, you don't need to send your mic over to the B1 channel which is directly related to the voice meter VAIO, which then routes into the B1 channel. If I uncheck that right now, you would not be able to hear me in the video. However, if you are on a Zoom call, you want to make sure that you're sending your mic to the B2 virtual channel. Otherwise, your Zoom callers won't be able to hear you. Next, let's take a look at the Zoom settings. So go ahead and open up Zoom and go to the home page. And just below your profile, you're going to see a little gear. Go ahead and click on the gear and then go to the audio section. The sections that we're going to be looking at today are the speaker and the microphone, suppression of background noises, and the music and professional audio. First, we need to set up voice meter to route the audio properly to Zoom. In these sections, we're going to tell Zoom where to route what we hear and where to route what other people hear. So first, we're going to look at the speaker. And basically, this is going to be what we're going to hear through Zoom and where it's going to route. 
So remember, we're already using the voice meter of VAIO to route the audio coming out of Pro Tools. So for our zoom routing, we're going to use the aux routing section, which routes to B2, as we saw earlier. So for the speaker device, make sure it's set up to voice meter aux input. And you see there's a bunch of other options. But you want to make sure you select the voice meter aux input. Then for the microphone, we're going to route this also through the voice meter aux output. Okay, moving along, we're going to look at the suppressing of the background noises. Now, I've found that if you do select auto, Zoom will often cut the audio in and out when you play back from Pro Tools. So I have found for my particular situation that medium works really well. And when on a Zoom call, anybody on the Zoom call can hear the audio without the audio cutting in and out. You may need to do low. You may need to try high. So just try different settings to see which one works best for you. Okay, the next section, which is going to be very important, is the music and professional audio. When you first get into your audio settings, you'll find that these lower options here are not showing. So what you need to do is just check the show in meeting options to enable original sound. And then these other options will become available. Now, I typically don't select the high fidelity music mode. You can definitely play around with it, check it out. I have found that stereo audio sounds amazingly high quality on a Zoom call. Um, also, echo cancellation will also interfere with the playback. So you want to be careful with that. That can also cause cutting in and out of the audio during playback. And you want it to be as smooth as possible. So definitely be careful of the echo cancellation and the suppressing of the background noises setting. Now that we've set up the audio, we need to go into an actual Zoom call to enable original sound. So let's do that. Go ahead and close the settings window. So this next step is very important. If you do not enable the original sound, all the settings won't take effect that you just made in the audio settings. So when you're in a Zoom call, look to the upper left hand corner and you're going to see the section for original sound. Obviously, you want to make sure that you're using the um, voice meter aux. Of course, don't change that. So if you just click on the original sound, it toggles it on and off. So just make sure it's turned on. Now that we have the zoom setting set up in the audio section and it's routing through voice meter and the original sound is enabled, you're ready to stream your audio through a zoom call. It's important to know that your zoom controls, video and mute, still apply. So if you're muted in the zoom section control for audio, you're still going to be muted. Likewise, in the voice meter section here, if you mute your input one, you will also be muted in zoom even if your zoom control for audio is not muted. So make sure that you know the relationship between these two functions here. So what I do is I usually leave the voice meter alone and I use the mute function inside the zoom call to avoid confusion. Before we stream audio from Pro Tools into a zoom call, let's review the meters and sends. Looking at hardware input one, which is renamed Mike, you'll see that there's a bunch of send settings, A1, A2, A3, B1, and B2. The only one you need to focus on to send to Zoom is B2. As you remember earlier, we've set up the Zoom to route through voice meter using the voice meter aux section. So if B2 and the hardware input number one section is not checked, no one will hear you in the Zoom call. So in the PC sound section, or the voice meter VAIO section, this is where Pro Tools routes through. So you want to make sure that you have the B2 send selected. So 
which means you're sending your PC sound to Zoom. Also, you want to make sure that the A1 send in the voice meter aux section is checked. If it's not checked, you won't hear anyone in the Zoom call. Because remember, the A1 virtual channel is where audio is sent for your monitor and headphones. Also, the A1 channel is directly related to the hardware output, and if your setup is like mine, this is where your audio interface is set up. Additionally, you may have noticed that the B2 send is not checked. This is because the Zoom caller audio is already routing through the voice meter aux section. We set this up earlier in the Zoom settings section. If we did check the B2 send now, you would get a doubling effect on the call. You may now be thinking, well, how do I know that the audio from Pro Tools is routing into Zoom? Well, there's a pretty easy way to check. We're going to use the meters. So we'll play back a little bit of audio as an example. Okay, so you'll notice the meter in the B2 virtual routing section is moving up and down when I'm not speaking. You probably also notice that I'm using the slider to control the volume in the PC sound section. This is also very important for when you're on a Zoom call. Let's pause for a second and talk about that. So when you're on a Zoom call and your volume is all the way up to zero, oh, and by the way, if you just double click on the slider, it resets it to zero. So let's say your audio is all the way up to zero and you're in a Zoom call and you play back audio from Pro Tools, it's going to be really loud if it's on zero. So it's important to make sure that the volume on the Zoom call is something that's not too loud for everybody because you don't want to blast everybody's ears. The fastest way to adjust that is to use the PC sound slider. Well, you may now be asking, well, how come I just don't turn down the volume in another way? Well, the reason for that is if you turn it down in any other way, it's going to affect how loud your voice is. This only affects how loud the music is. So that way you can talk over the music as you heard me doing earlier. A1 is also very important as well. If you uncheck A1, you won't hear anything either. Because remember, you're sending the PC sound to A1, which is your monitors or your headphones. And basically, that's what you hear. So you want to make sure that you are also sending the PC sound to A1. Also, when on a Zoom call, it's important to remember that when you're streaming audio through voice meter into Zoom, if your Zoom mic is muted here, the Zoom callers will not hear the audio coming from Pro Tools either. It mutes everything coming into Zoom. So just keep that in mind. All right, so now you're probably wondering what it sounds like and what it sounds like when you're adjusting the volume in a Zoom call and while you're talking. So let's take a look at that. Let's start up a Zoom call. And you have to make sure that you have your Zoom mic unmuted. All right, so we're going to do a couple things. We're going to look at the meters and we're going to test the sound of the music coming out of Pro Tools while I'm talking and while I'm not talking. So here we go. So now I'm going to slide down the volume and you can hear the voice on top of the music. And now I'm going to slide it back up. And you're going to hear how it's a lot louder. And it's covering up my voice instead of allowing me to talk over it. These are just some of the key things that are important to know when you're on a Zoom call and streaming audio so you don't blast everyone's ears. So this is on the Zoom side of the call and we're going to play back audio from Pro Tools and stream it through the Zoom call. So here we go.
So you can hear how that's very loud. So we'll turn down the volume using the PC sound setting in voice meter. And now you can hear the audio underneath my voice. And also I've turned down the B2 channel in voice meter to about negative three. So my voice isn't too loud in the zoom call either. All right, so now here's the PC sound all the way up. And you can barely hear my voice and the music's way too loud. So we're gonna turn it down so you can hear my voice and the music is underneath. So now you can see how important it is to control the volume coming out of Pro Tools on a Zoom call. And once you become familiar with the settings in Voice Meter and Pro Tools and Zoom and how they all relate to one another, you can easily adjust on the fly in the middle of a call. This is one of the things I really like about Voice Meter Banana is not only the routing flexibility, but also the volume control flexibility so everyone can have the best listening experience on the call. Thanks for joining me for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do like the content, it would really help if you hit subscribe and if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified when the next video drops. Catch you next time.